tutorial, we will learn how data communication using the OSAD module of the PIC microcontroller. For data communication, we have created an example. In this example, we will bidirectional communication between two microcontrollers. There, using the push button at the first microcontroller, we will control the LED at the second microcontroller, and vice versa, using the push button of the second microcontroller, we will control the LED of the first microcontroller. Now let's take a closer look at the OSAT module. The universal synchronous AC synchronous receiver transmitter OSAT module is one of the two CL input output modules. OSAT is also known as a CL communication interface or SCI. OSAT can be configured as a full duplex synchronous system that can communicate with peripheral devices such as CRT terminal and personal computer or it can be configured as a half duplex synchronous system that can communicate with peripheral devices such as AD or DA integrated circuit CLEP or METC. The OSAT can be configured in the flowing mode AC synchronous full duplex, synchronous master half duplex, synchronous slope half duplex. In this tutorial, we have used AC synchronous half duplex data transmission. AC synchronous transmission In AC synchronous transmission, data is sent in form of byte or character. In this transmission, in half duplex type transmission, in this transmission, start and stop bit are added with data. Do not trigger any synchronization. Half duplex in this mode, data is transmission in either direction but is not simultaneously. Data can be transmitted terminal 1 to terminal 2 or terminal 2 to terminal 1. Here's the circuit schematic. It has two parts transceiver 1 and transceiver 2. Push button and LED are connected for B of those microcontrollers. Here the TX pin of the first microcontroller is connected to RX pin of the second microcontroller. And vice versa, the TX pin of the second microcontroller is connected to RX pin at the first microcontroller. Here's the micro C code for first microcontroller. In this code, we have included the UART library. In define section, we have defined the Swiss connection. In this case, Swiss 1, 2 and 3 are serially connected to RB0, RB1 and RB2 pins. We have defined an unsigned character variable whose name is UART underscore RD. In main section, we have initialized the OSAT module at 9600 kilobit per second. The 100 millisecond delay which stabilized the OSAT module. Now we have set the RB5, RB6 and RB7 pin is an output by clearing the TSB register. Now we have cleared the port B register. In the main loop we have created a 3 if statement. If I press the switch on the condition will be true and it will send the character 1 by UART 1 underscore write function. Next, we have create if statement which check whether there is data to be received. If data is received in buffer register, the UART 1 underscore data underscore ready function return 1. Using the UART underscore ready function, we read and store the data into the UART underscore RD variable. Next, we have created three if statement which compare the UART underscore RD variable value with predefined value. Here's the micro C code for the second microcontroller. We have made some sense in our previous code. Here we have sensed this digit. Now we will upload the code and we will see the practical example. Thanks for watching. For more video and tutorials, visit my website. You can find the link in the video description box.